President Biden met with hospitality workers in Las Vegas today ahead of the Nevada Democratic primary, which takes place tomorrow. During a campaign speech there yesterday, he criticized former President Trump, saying it would be, quote, a nightmare if the GOP frontrunner returned to the White House. CBS News campaign reporter Aaron Navarro joins us now from Las Vegas. Great backdrop there, Aaron. Great to see you. Um, I want to play a little bit of what Biden said in his speech last night, and I'll uh, get your thoughts on the other side. Imagine the nightmare if Donald Trump's reelected. No. No, 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 no. I, by the way, this is the guy who, when he was in France, and he was they asked him to go to an American cemetery in France from World War II where Americans were buried. You know what he said? He said those folks buried in that cemetery were suckers and losers. So, Aaron, this seems like Biden is very much in general election mode, criticizing Donald Trump, who he expects to run against in November. Um, it, it seems here, Aaron, like Biden, we're going to be seeing a lot of this from Biden, kind of reminding voters of what he has said before, what his presidency was like to an electorate that, you know, hasn't really, um, you know, may not remember. Uh, what, what's your sense of, of from what you've heard from Biden in Vegas about kind of how he's planning to take on Trump. Kaylin, good to be with you. What was notable to me was just how often he talked about Trump last night in his remarks. The crowd there in Las Vegas where a lot of union members, kind of the electorate Biden needs here in this battleground state in Nevada. But he went after Trump on the economy, compared him to Herbert Hoover, saying that the two presidents uh, left office with less jobs than when they came in. Uh, he did, Biden did not mention how COVID played a role in that. And also went after Trump and the term his MAGA friends and allies on the issue of abortion, noting how there are politicians out there that have called for a national abortion ban uh, and how that is kind of antithetical uh, to the values that a lot of Democrat and moderate voters have, especially in those suburbs. But you're right. It's kind of he has to kind of remind voters about former President Trump, given that. You know, he's not in the White House anymore. He's not always top of mind for voters. But now getting into this general election season, we're going to hear him talk about Trump more in fundraisers and in campaign speeches. And especially, Aaron, as it appears that this is a competitive race. I mean, there's a new NBC poll out that shows uh, Trump leading Biden by five points. I know we're talking in January of 2024. There's still ways to go. But um, is Biden or are Democrats kind of talking about their concerns that these polls at this point don't look good for the incumbent? Well, just from talking uh, this morning, I was talking to the president of uh, the Democratic uh, legislative campaign committee, kind of the overseer for these really down ballot state house races. And the message that she had, Heather Williams, was for Democrats to kind of ignore the polls, focus on the work, focus on talking about the record and just the alternative of Republicans. But from talking to voters at uh, the Biden event last night in Las Vegas, uh, I did get the sense that there's not a big sense of enthusiasm yet. They came out because they wanted to hear what the foreign president uh, or what the current president had to say. Um, but some Democratic voters that did vote for him in 2020 said they were still on the fence, uh, maybe looking at options like former President Trump or Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Um, so it is going to be the task for Biden in these coming weeks and months until the general election to kind of build that electorate, make sure that they're still for him, especially in a state like Nevada, a crucial battleground state. Yeah, and speaking of Nevada, I know you were not there for the Super Bowl, although that is also this weekend. Uh, this week, Nevada will be hosting both a primary and a caucus for uh, the Republican side. Can you just walk us through very quickly what to be paying attention to? That's right. I'm a Bears fan, so I'm looking forward to the draft more than the Super Bowl <laughs> itself. But, um, you know, the Republicans have this confusion going on. They have a primary and a caucus. The primary, Nikki Haley is going to be on that ballot, and this option for none of these candidates is going to be on that ballot. But whoever wins that is not going to get any delegates, because the state party said all their delegates will go to the winner of the caucus. And that's where former President Trump has uh, seemed all but locked up. Uh, the state party chair is a big Trump ally. Um, so it, it's really Thursday that we're going to be paying attention to. It'll really only be Donald Trump on that ballot, uh, but we'll see his remarks on that day, how he talks about Nevada and generally about Nikki Haley, who is still in this race and is planning to be in this race through Super Tuesday. All right. A lot of activity there this week, not just the Super Bowl. Uh, Aaron Navarro, thank you very much for your reporting. We'll talk to you soon.